Welcome to Sommelier Mechanics. My name is Mario Luna. So today we're going to be talking about how to open up a bottle of red. I have here a bottle of Valpolicella. And if you want to learn more about Valpolicella, please check out one of my tasting. And there will be a segment on Valpolicella. But this particular moment, we're going to open up this bottle of red wine. And I'm going to show you how to. And we're going to pour correctly. Uh, so, you take your dime in the hand uh, for the cutting and you take your recessive hand for holding the bottle. And in this case, I'm left handed, so, so I'm going to go inward the entire time while opening up the bottle. So what you want to do is, if you're dining and your service professional at your table or your sommelier is holding a bottle, I would love for them, for that holder, to hold the bottle like this as they're, you know, at the table because they need to, the guests need to see the bottle that you are opening, that you selected, so, or they suggested. So for this video, we're just gonna angle it out towards you at a 45 degree angle. So, you're very simple, you just take your wine key, and then you go under, not just the first lip, but on the biggest divot, which is the second lip underneath here. And the reason for that is if you touch, if the foil touches wine, it, the metallic will throw off the wine's flavor. Wine is, has to be perfect. I mean, it has to be at the right temperature. It has to be at the right, uh, I mean, red balance with the food. I mean, there's so many variables that can go wrong. So, and, and, and even if how you cut the wine. Some wineries, some people, um, if you're at the bar, if you're working, they'll just take the bottle and then they'll just pull out the, the foil and then just pop it up and then just pour it by the glass. That's fine. But for this particular instance, this particular blog, it's going to be more towards you opening it in a traditional fashion. So, we're just going to take this foil and we're going to cut underneath. If you need a couple strokes to do it, please do. You don't race greatness here. So you get the little incision right here and you take the blade of the wine key, press it against that divot and the incision, press on the incision and press up. And once you press up, you, you have that opening here. And once you have the opening, you can just cut around or you can just pull it out, whatever you prefer. And you just want to check to see if, there was, if there's any wine, dried wine coming out, a little red uh, brown around the rim of the, where the cork is. So, so far the wine's good. So you just open it up, take the cork screw out, and when you press in, you take that tip, you press inward, and see how the wine looks more like this? This is what the wine key should look like. And then when you start turning, it adjusts it. It centers itself out. So get the rotation all the way down to where the wine key uh, core screw is this far into the cork. So you have the double hinge wine key that I'm using. You take this part down, you press with your thumb where this hinge is right here and then you pull up once and then you, you go back down and then you go on the second hinge and you're right here take your dominant hand hold it grab it and slowly pull it out should hear a kiss then. Take the cork. Just put it down. And you have your towel. The towel becomes very important at this point because you want to clean everything up. Sometimes in the wine bottle you're going to have a little bit of sediment, dust, so you want to clean it out. And take a finger and just dip in a little bit. So that's how you're gonna, so this is how you properly clean out the wine before we start pouring it. So when you pour it, 
take your right hand underneath, hold it, label facing guess, and you just pour a silver dollar glass, right around one ounce. And then that person's going to taste or smell the wine. Mmm, love, Valpolicella, yes. And then you just pour away. And this is how we open up a bottle of red wine. And this is some mechanics. Hey guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video, along with all my other information, will help develop the sommelier in you. Come to my website and learn more.